Batwoman has been on a constant streak of being complete and total trash. Losing viewers and ratings going off a cliff. Well, speaking of uh, things going terribly, well, it looks like the CW's been losing money, and now it is up for sale. <laughs> Hey, what is going on everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today, and if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. The CW, it has been nothing more than a complete and total train wreck. The one thing that it's good at though, is having bad ratings and viewers leaving because there's just no interest there. If anything, the CW has been hit hard by history, as it's basically just aged like spoiled milk. <laughs> it's so bad. That when you were to take this and just have it to be flushed down your toilet, well, instead, your toilet doesn't take it, regurgitates it, and just explodes. Because it can't handle the complete disaster that the CW has become. And when you look at the shows like Batwoman that continues to get renewed per season, that continues to just die in ratings. Like, it's just diving downhill. It is so bad. It is such a garbage show. And then, of course, they try to take other shows that people like and make live action versions out of them i mean look at the powerpuff girls you know that script got leaked and we all saw how people felt about that one i think it's, ah, i don't want it i don't want it ah. and now that we have hit 2022 we're getting closer to that warner uh discovery merger and uh well get ready because the cw ceo mark pedowitz confirms the network is up for sale read note to staff I wonder how many people are really surprised about this. Probably nobody, but maybe like clowns on Twitter. Because the CW is not profitable and they admit this. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. It's too early to speculate what might happen. CW CEO tells employees via email, ah, It's fine. The building's on fire, but it's fine. Don't, don't worry. <laughs> I'm CEO for right now at the moment. <laughs> That's pretty much what he's like. That's pretty much what he's saying. Because... Who knows how long he's going to keep that position. Who knows how long things are going to shift. Because that sale can change everything. Mark Petowitz, the CEO of the CW, has addressed news reports of his broadcast channel's potential sale by parent companies Viacom, CBS, and Warner Bros. In an email to staff on Thursday, Petowitz confirmed the joint venture property was on the block. First, as many of you are aware, over the past year or so, this transformative time in our industry has led to a series of business activity activities across media and content companies. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, this is going to be an excuse. They're going to probably be like, it was the pandemic, guys. That's what it was. It affected us. When the CW, they've been suffering for years. They've had a problem for years. And it only continued to get worse as time went on. Uh, so, uh, Petrowitz wrote in the email, which was obtained by The Wrap, given that environment right now, Viacom, CBS, and Warner Bros. are exploring strategic opportunities to optimize the value of their joint venture in the CW network. You know what this means, right? This means they're going to press that button, they're going to fall through the chute, and it's going to be like, Your ass is grass! You're getting sold! <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much what that means. Uh, Next Star Media Group is in advanced stages on a potential deal that could give a controlling stake in the broadcast network multiple outlets have reported. So what Next Star Media Group basically is, it's, it's the group of networks that actually broadcast the CW. So it would be like the employees of the company buying it. That's basically what that is. The Wall Street Journal, which first reported the news, said that Warner Media and Viacom CBS were seeking to sell a significant stake or all of the CW. In other words, cutting dead weight. <laughs> Citing unnamed individuals familiar with the matter. The CW is home to numerous superhero shows like Bad Woman. <laughs> as well as Riverdale Walker, which Walker is the uh, reboot of Walker, Texas Ranger. I, I've heard that it is not good. And All-American. Seriously, if you were selling a network that had Bat Woman on it, would you really expect somebody to be like, yeah, I want that. No, no. I know I wouldn't. I'd be like, who's going to buy this from me? <laughs> like, who wants this damaged goods? Who wants Batwoman? Oh, God. 
Nexstar, the country's largest broadcaster and owner of many CW affiliate stations, has emerged as the frontrunner to acquire a majority stake in the network, while Viacom, CBS, and Warner Media would remain as minority owners with commitments to being primary content providers, the journal reported. So this would be like Warner Media could keep, uh, you know, stuff for HBO Max. It's basically what that means. Now, what's funny is this article right here, Next Star and talks to buy controlling stake in the CW from Warner Media and Viacom CBS. Turns out this came out at the time that it still seemed like it was a rumor, but ultimately came out to <laughs> you know, uh, be pretty hilarious because there's one thing that it states in here. Say, according to the journal, the youth skewing CW isn't profitable. No shit. <laughs> Who expected it to be? But the programming produced for the network is a valuable asset for other platforms, with Warner Bros. produced shows like Riverdale generating large viewership and revenues from streaming on Netflix. See, that's the thing. They were probably going to use something like Batwoman that... Terrible ratings. Awful. Got worse as the show continued. But they knew that there'd be HBO Max, so they're probably going to have that as, you know, more content for HBO Max. That's probably what they were doing. Meaning, the perspective was, yeah, we're going to get more content on HBO Max, but it was going to be shit. Because it was going to be quantity over quality. Therefore, you were going to make terrible shows that were going to keep going, just so you put it on HBO Max so you can have more stuff that people are probably not even going to watch on HBO Max. <laughs> and here's the thing. If you look at this and seeing them say that they're going to solve the CW, then, oh, you better believe that Rooster Teeth is in grave danger. Considering how much they are falling apart and just dying off. Oh, they got plans to get rid of them. <laughs> Think about it this way. The CW is basically dead weight to them and they realize this. Well, Rooster Teeth is even more dead weight than the CW is. They're even worse. <laughs> so, yeah, no. At this point, Rooster Teeth, you're on a time bomb. And it's going to explode. You're going to be gone. Swiggity swooty. Rooster teeth. They're coming for that booty. I mean, it's, <laughs> that's just the best way for me to put it. All I can say is everybody working there better update those resumes. They are in grave danger. In his Thursday memo, Pedowitz added that it is too early to speculate on what might happen. Ladies and gentlemen, don't press the eject button on the seats yet. Don't leave. That's pretty much what that's saying. It's basically... One of those like, oh shit, something's about to happen. And it's all about to hit the fan. <laughs> you know, like, they just know it. And so it's like, just stay calm, remain calm, remain calm, remain in your seats, don't go anywhere. <laughs> like, oh, you know, it's like, nothing bad's gonna happen, but it's like, they just know that something bad's gonna happen. You know, it's like that red flag's going off, they know it, but they just want to make sure everybody else doesn't know it. You know, it's like, oh, don't worry about what the internet says, don't, don't, don't worry about it. Hey, they're right here. I am sure you have seen the recent speculation in the press around the CW, so I wanted to take the opportunity to address this with you directly and share with you what we know. It's basically like, oh, whatever you hear on the internet about us, uh, don't, don't, don't worry about it. It's, it's, um, it's not true. <laughs> that's, that's what they're trying to say. Don't, don't listen to the YouTubers talking about this problem. Oh, man, because they know, they know the bad stuff's happening. You know, they know it's coming. They know the axe is coming to make a grind and to chop off the dead weight. They know it. You know, and the worst part is, is that everything's so up in the air with Warner Media that the employees don't know what's going to happen. And some of them even find out through articles that they're going to get fired. And that's the only way they find out they're going to get fired. I mean, that's, that sucks because that's not how it should be, but that's what happens. And you look at this, this, uh, you know, Warner Discovery merger deal. This is going to be a big thing that's going to happen this year, you know, um, and there's going to be a lot of things that's going to go on. There's going to be a lot of cuts. And look, they say that they're focused on money. With what DC Comics is doing, you know, with their propaganda books, with what Rooster Teeth's doing, and the, the shit that they've got going on. I mean, my God. You know, like, nah. They're not going to stand for that. You better believe they'd probably cut them or sell them off. I mean, I don't know who'd want Rooster Teeth, but... Surprising they'd try to sell a CW before they try to sell Rooster Teeth, but... There's a lot that's going to happen. And it'll probably be a pretty big shake-up, if I had to guess. I'd probably say that's what you're going to see happen. I wouldn't doubt it in the slightest if it does. 
But anyways, let me know what you think about this entire situation down below. Subscribe to the channel if you were new here. Make sure you were still subscribed because YouTube is unsubscribing people from all their favorite channels. So make sure you were still subscribed to all your favorite channels. Hit the video with a like and also be sure to share the video on social media. Spread the word and get it out there. It's greatly appreciated and it really helps out the channel a lot. Also be sure to follow me on both Discord and Minds. We have a wonderful community there. Not only that, but it will keep you up to date on when the newest videos will be released. As well as any other upcoming events in the near future. So be sure to follow me on both Discord and Minds. The links are in the description down below but anyways i hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today and remember if today was not a good day tomorrow can always be better take care of yourselves and everyone around you and have yourselves a good one out there everybody